Hey everyone, welcome back. We're diving into some seriously interesting stuff today. Forex trading. Sounds exciting. It is. Especially because, you know, we got this question from one of our listeners. They're curious about Forex trading. Like, really curious. Yeah. Wants to know if it's a good idea, which, let's face it, is yeah. a great loaded question. Yeah, it is. But that's what we're here for, right? To unpack it all. Exactly. So let's get right into it. The question straight up asks, is Forex trading a good idea? Her. What's the initial reaction to that? Well, I mean, it's understandable why someone would ask that. Forex trading can seem pretty alluring. In what way? I mean, there's the potential for big profits. Right. The market's open 24-7, so you can trade whenever you want. Oh, that's convenient. And then there's leverage, which can really amplify your gains. Ah, okay. Leverage. That's a word you hear a lot. But honestly, I think a lot of people, myself included, need a little bit of a refresher on what leverage is and why it can be both a blessing and a curse. Absolutely. Leverage is basically like borrowing money to increase the size of your trades. Imagine you have $100 to trade with. With leverage, you might be able to control a position worth $1,000 or even more. Wait, so you're basically trading with more money than you actually have. Exactly. And that's where the risk comes in. Yeah. If your trade goes in your favor, you can make a much larger profit. Right. That makes sense. But if the trade goes against you, uh -oh. you can lose way more than your initial $100. Ouch. Okay. That makes the whole roller coaster analogy make a lot more sense. Definitely. High, high, low, lows. Now, what are some of the big things that cause those price swings in the Forex market? I was glancing through the source material, and it seemed like global economics play a massive role. They absolutely do. Currency values are influenced by a whole bunch of factors like interest rates, economic growth, political stability, and even things like natural disasters. Oh, wow. So, like, everything's connected. Pretty much. For mm -hmm. example, let's say a country raises its interest rates. That can make its currency more attractive to foreign investors. Right which can drive up the demand and increase its value. Okay. Conversely, if a country experiences political turmoil, mm -hmm. that can make investors nervous and lead to a sell-off of its currency, causing its value to drop. So it's like this giant, constantly moving puzzle. You got it. And to be successful in Forex trading, you need to understand how all these pieces fit together. Which is where knowledge and skill come into play, right? Exactly. You need to be able to analyze economic data, read charts, understand technical indicators, and develop a solid trading strategy. Okay, so strategy is key. Definitely. One important concept in Forex trading is something called a PIP. PIP? Yeah. It stands for point and percentage. Basically, it's the smallest unit of price movement that a currency pair can make. So are PIPs good or bad? Well, they're neither good nor bad in themselves. They're just a unit of measurement. But understanding pips is crucial for calculating your profits and losses, especially when you're using leverage. I see. So pips, leverage, global events. Hmm. It sounds like Forex trading has a pretty steep learning curve. It does. But for those who are willing to put in the time and effort, it can be a rewarding endeavor. Okay. So we've talked about the risks, the volatility, the complexity. But what about the potential rewards? What makes Forex trading attractive to so many people? Well, for one thing, Forex is the most liquid market in the world. Liquid meaning? Meaning there are always buyers and sellers, so it's easy to get in and out of trades. Gotcha. And as we mentioned earlier, it's open 24 hours a day, five days a week, so you can trade whenever it's convenient for you. And, I mean, there are success stories out there, right? Definitely. There are many people who make consistent profits from Forex trading, but it's important to remember that it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Right. It takes work. It takes time, dedication, and a willingness to learn and adapt. So, circling back to that original question, is Forex trading a good idea? You know, that really depends on the individual. What do you mean? Well, it depends on their financial goals, their risk tolerance, their time commitment, and their overall understanding of the market. So it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. Exactly. What might be a good idea for one person could be a terrible idea for another. That makes sense. But I think the biggest takeaway here is that knowledge is power. Absolutely. The more you learn about Forex, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about whether or not it's right for you. And if someone's out there thinking, okay, Forex sounds interesting, what's the best first step? I'd say the most important thing is to educate yourself. Yeah. Read books, take online courses, 
practice with a demo account. There are tons of resources available to help you get started. Don't just jump in head first. Exactly. Well, thanks for breaking all that down for us. This was a super insightful deep dive into Forex. My pleasure. And to our listener, keep those questions coming. We're here to help you navigate the complex and everything.